Hi everybody, this is Ben Saint, and I'm here with a little uh, project, I guess, that I've been thinking about doing for a while now. There's this guy on YouTube, Will Terrell, who's an illustrator and a, a storyboard artist, I think, and uh, he's got a pretty decent-sized YouTube channel, and what he does over there is he vlogs and draws at the same time, like he'll just kind of talk about something while he draws a little sketch or whatever. <laughs> and I think it's pretty cool. I like listening to that guy. So I thought maybe I could do that too. And I thought maybe it would be a good way to keep myself in the spirit. <laughs> you know, keep myself working. Uh, not get distracted if I'm making a little video out of it. Uh, so, here's a page from Champion, Chapter 1 that I'm working on. It's um, almost half done, I think, but I gotta finish it, so I'm gonna try and finish it while I talk to you guys, and I hope that will be fun, because the drawcast was fun when we did the TPC, or the, T the TPD, the Procrastinator's Drawcast. That was a, a hoot. And everyone really liked it, especially me. I really enjoyed listening to it several times after it was done. So, uh, yeah, hopefully this will capture some of that magic. I got a lot of... There were a bunch of comments on that that said that they liked my... Uh, well, not just mine, but everyone's drawing techniques, and they liked watching it in action. Which makes sense. I used to watch lots of, like you know, how to draw videos and stuff. Uh, I use Control-Z a lot, by the way. You'll you'll see. <laughs> oh, you'll see how much I Control-Z when I'm doing my art. Yeah, I used to watch lots of uh, how to draw technique videos and, like, kind of inspiration videos, I guess. I wouldn't quite say there's this guy on YouTube, who I was watching for a while, in maybe like 2003, uh, when I was just kind of starting to get into drawing, and I still wasn't great at it, I only had like the beginnings of skill, I think, and his name was Sykra, and he had like a whole fucking, he wasn't just on YouTube, he had like a whole website and like forums where people would like... I fucked this up. I fucked this fucking balloon up. Uh, people would, like, discuss his videos, and, like, they would post their work, and he would, like, critique them, and they'd critique each other and stuff. I never got in on the Psychra forums, but I thought Psychra himself was a pretty cool guy. Uh, I liked Psychra because he was old. <laughs> Cause, or, because he, he didn't get into drawing until he was, like, in his 20s, too, which is the case for me, also. Uh, cause, you know, I don't know if any of you old people out there are listening, uh, there's kind of a, there's kind of a feeling that, like, getting into art is something you gotta do while you're young, like, like, looking on Tumblr, right? There's all these kids drawing all these cool comics and stuff, like, like, people are in high school and shit and they're turning out, like, great work, and, like, if you're an adult and you're watching and you're looking at that and you maybe want to do art... Uh, but you, you're not very good at it, it <laughs> can really bug you, and can really get to you, like, shit, I, I missed my chance, like, uh, I'm fucked now, and I wasn't good as a kid, I'll never be good as an adult, um, and, uh, yeah, I used to, yeah, in, like, 2003 or something, when I was, like, just starting to, like, oh my god, what the fuck? This looks terrible. This is going to look terrible for a while. Um, bear with it. Yeah, I was very, uh, you know, because cause back then I, I, f I didn't know that I could do it. Now I feel like I've pretty much proven myself. I feel pretty confident that, yeah, I've, I'm okay at this. But back then it was like, well, you know, will, am I actually any good? Am I just wasting my time even, even pursuing this interest at all? Um... Anyway, I think the answer turned out to be no, <laughs> but Sykra, um, I don't know. I mean, he had lots of interesting things to say. Like, he talked about his whole journey and how, like, you know, he used to draw 
a little bit as a kid. He was more of an artist as a kid than me, but he still wasn't like serious about it as a kid or anything. Um, I don't know. He's really good too. He was really, uh, he's very painterly. He had like a very, I mean, I mean, I'm talking about him in the past tense because I haven't watched him in a while, but like he still exists. Like he's still active, I think. He has a very painterly style, and he's very, I don't know, he, he does, like, atmosphere really well. He he does, like, lots of interesting colors and stuff. I'm terrible with colors, as you can see from the fact that I never use any. Uh, it's it's not that I'm terrible. I mean, I've, I'm okay with them, but, like, they're hard. <laughs> they're a challenge for me. Um... And Sykra, yeah, he would do these, like, he would just, like, put down a blot of color or something on, like, a canvas, on, like, a blank canvas, and then just kind of, like, keep just sort of brushing over it and brushing over it until, like, it would turn into, like, this pointy-chinned anime face. Not exactly an anime face, um, but he has he has a very distinct style that is a little bit anime, but not quite. And, uh, you know, I was always very impressed to see that. Of course, my style, as I've come to understand it, is nothing like that. <laughs> Mine, I, I use, like, like he, he paints and I draw. I mean, that's not really maybe a helpful distinction to make, but it makes sense to me. You know, like, he goes in with, like, values and brushes and, like, brushes his way to victory. And I go in with, like, you know, a rough sketch and I do lines over it and... All this shit you see here. Boy, I'm really struggling on this figure. This is Agatha, by the way. She's just holding her coffee. This is a, this is a simple drawing, Ben. Get your head in the game. Uh, Alright. Yeah, this really does not need to be a, 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 a complicated thing. Um, yeah... I used to watch, back then when I was insecure about my art skills, I used to seek out, you know, videos and stuff, and like, instructions and tutorials, and like, oh, how to draw this, how to draw that, and uh, I did learn some things, like the most, I think the one thing that I, I mean, I looked up this book uh, by Andrew Loomis, which is like, if you're looking to learn how to draw, like, people will always recommend you this book, um... He has a whole... Actually, there's a whole bunch of books by Andrew Loomis. And Andrew Loomis is... He's kind of all about... He's very technical. He's very all about, like, figure drawing. Like, mostly what you learn from his is how to draw the human figure. And um, his his technique... I mean, you can kind of see it here. Like, you know, I, I do, like, the head and then, like, the body. And then I kind of do, like, a hip thing. And I connect that shit. Shoulders. Arm. You know, hands. Add, add, add a leg. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, you know, like, kind of like a, like you trace out like a puppet of the figure, and then you, um, you know, go in with the details or whatever. That's what Loomis is all about. So I did learn from that. At, I mean, at the time, I, I didn't learn it at all, right? Like, it took me a while of like, kind of fucking around with that technique for me to, kind of get anything out of it. Like, I kind of gave up on it for a while. Um, that's not true. I mean, it, but I wasn't using it for a Like, when I was doing TBAP, obviously I wasn't using it because uh, I was drawing horses. And then I come back to, you know, draw with the vapors and I draw humans and I you know, found myself using that, that same kind of anatomical, like, puppet model. Oh my god, this is so bad. <laughs> This is so terrible. Why can't I do this? Uh, maybe I can't talk and draw at the same time. That would be disappointing. It would be very disappointing if I found out that this was, you know, a, a, a failed experiment. Um, yeah. Another really good thing for that I did, in fact, learn successfully from a, a tutorial was uh, metal shading, like how to draw metal and sh ooh that's ooh yes oh that hip that hip jab to the side that came out great ooh yes nailed it um did i nail it i don't know 
I mean, it's it's actually it sucks. <laughs> it totally sucks. Never mind. Uh, how to draw metals and like how to shade metals. It was like pff, I found like a really advanced. It was just like a series of pictures of like a ball, right? It was like here's how to shade metal, and it had like a a brown ball, and it's like okay. And this was, like, specifically Photoshop technique, so it'd be like, no, start, uh, you know, a, a burn layer, and, like, you know, burn in the color th- for this, and then, you know, go in and, like, brush in some, like, some other, some, you know, like, add darker layer, darker layer, darker layer, then go in and add, like, lighter layer, add, add highlights here, add highlights there, add different colors of highlights, add different highlights on the bottom versus the top, you know, reflected light versus direct light. Uh, and stuff like that, and, um, you know, this was all, because, like, I never went to art school or anything, so seeing that laid out, I was like, holy shit, there's, like, a technique to this, um, and I still use that, I use that just today, in fact, I was using, I was drawing, like, a really fancy metal mirror frame for an earlier page in The Champion, and, uh, yeah, the mirror frame, you know, I kind of, like, you know, kind of blacked out, like, certain parts and, and you know, highlighted others uh, because of lighting and the rules of how to light metal and stuff. Ooh, that foot. Ooh. <sighs> nah, she looks like Daffy Duck. Look at that duck foot. God damn it. <sighs> Shit. Nailed it. Uh, mm, I don't know. I don't think it's good enough. So, yes. Tutorials. Uh, they're, they're, they're dumb. <laughs> That's not true. Like I said, I did learn some from some tutorials, but I find, I don't know, I find them kind of redundant now. Maybe it's like, maybe it's like stupid of me to say that, like now that I'm, like kind of know how to draw, like, yeah, obviously I don't need tutorials, but like now, like I look at, I look back at like all the tutorials I ever read, and I'm like, what did I really learn from those? Like, I didn't learn anything compared to, like my my technique never improved really from reading tutorials and stuff. It only ever got better when I actually like practiced, you know. And like, you, I never. Or I did. I did sometimes sit down, like, specifically to practice, like, some technique that I had read about, but it never really worked. It was never good practice, and I never felt like I got much out of it. It was only... Because I was never motivated. Like, like say I read a thing that's like, here's how to draw a leg. I might, like, sit down and sketch in my stupid sketchbook, like, you know, 50 legs or something. Probably not that many. Probably, like, 10 and then get bored, because I wasn't didn't really want to be drawing legs. Uh, I was just like, okay, time to grind these out, right? And, like, it sucked. Practicing is for losers. <laughs> um, and I started The Vapors, which was, like, a real project that I really wanted to do. And, like, I didn't know how to draw. <laughs> I, Like, I, when I started The Vapors, I had, like, I could barely draw, like, a person. Like, I had zero confidence in my ability to draw the human figure, but I just said, like, well, I'll just keep doing it until it works. And, like, I would, if I drew a figure and it looked terrible, and they always did because I didn't know how to draw, I would um, just, like, you know, erase the bad part and go back in for the good part. Or, you know, fix it. Or just, like, erase, be like, oh, well, that looks terrible. And then, uh, here's a technique I use all the time. I draw a, the image, and it looks bad. Like, I, I fuck it up, and it's terrible. I'm gonna do that right now with his head, actually, because it's garbage. <laughs> um, and then I'll just... I won't erase it. I'll just gray it out and pretend it was a sketch... And use it as, like, I have a sketch layer right now, but this one that I'm doing here is going to be closer to how I actually want the figure to look. So I'm just going to... Mm, that's okay. Uh, it's terrible. So I'm just going to, like, finish this terrible sketch, that, or this terrible, in, 
line drawing that looks bad and I hate it. And I'm just going to gray it out and take it as my new sketch layer and then s- s- trace over it with the with the new, you know, real final version as I have recently redefined it to be. Oh my god. I fucking hate this drawing, by the way. I fucking hate this panel. Holy shit. I'm just lost, <laughs> just lost in a sea of how mad I am. Um, yeah, I don't know. Reading is good. Looking up tutorials is good. Even practicing is kind of good. But like, you gotta, you gotta do it. You know, you gotta actually work and practice. Like theory is nothing compared to practice, and. uh the best practice is not practice at all, but actually doing it. Because, like, when I was doing the vapors, I was like, I gotta get this project done. So I was as motivated as I needed to be to, you know, draw the same fucking panel, like, 80 times. Probably not 80. Maybe, like, you know, five or six times until it looked right. And then... Shit. And that was practice. You know, just doing it over and over again until it looked Okay. That's my story. Uh, I had a, I had a topic I wanted to bring up. Ooh, that leg looks okay. Her hips don't look very good, but I mean, this is like not a big thing. Uh, I guess it's fine. This this image is small. It doesn't have to be that detailed or even that anatomically correct. Yeah, I had a thing I wanted to bring up, and that is about how to love art and how to love an artist. Uh, I think about this all the time. I think about how and why people engage with art, because like, it's not... It's not obvious to me. Like, I really don't understand art at all. <laughs> I don't understand its its purpose or what it is. Um, like, let me start with Homestuck, because that's <laughs> my, my ultimate touchstone, touchstone for, like, understanding art and for my experience of art. Like, Homestuck was this big thing... And it, I found it, and I was, like, blown away by it, and it mystified me, and through it, you know, because of Homestuck, I wanted to get to know more about the creator, um, Andrew Hussey. I, I, like, because he had done this ridiculous thing, I was like, you know, who who did this? Like, what's, what kind of a person? Whatever. Um, so I was interested in finding out about that guy. Uh no. Better? Nah. Maybe this is good enough. Maybe this is good enough for like a tiny panel. I don't know. I'm gonna finish this and zoom out and look and like maybe I maybe I'll just be like, okay, it's done. Um Yeah, so with Homestuck it was like I found the art, and then through the art, I came to like, you know, I I don't I'm not like an expert on Hussey or anything, but I came to try to understand the artist through it. Whereas like me, right? Like I promote my own art and shit. Like I I buy ads sometimes. Like I place ads on other sites once in a while when I feel like just like blowing some money on promoting myself. Or, you know, like, I uh, talk about my Patreon on the on the Procrastinators podcast. You know what I mean? The, the Procrastinators podcast these days, I think, is how people know me. Either, I mean, not all, but I think, but most people that have found my work have found, they either watched me on TBAT back in the day, or they have found me through the Procrastinators more recently. And that's cool. I'm very happy about that. Um... But it does make me wonder, it does make me wonder, you know, how much 
of people's interest in my work comes from the work itself versus interest in me. And and that's like, you know, versus like knowing me and, and being familiar with me as a person. And that's like, it's kind of a, I mean, not a first world problem, but it's kind of like a quality problem to have, you know, like, oh, people are, people are interested in me, not my art. Uh, that's not, I mean, it's, it's cool. It's cool if people are interested in me. It's cool if people like me on the TPC or if they like TBAP or if they just think I'm a cool guy based on whatever they, they know of me or have heard of me. I love that. That makes me very pleased. Um, but, you know, with my work, with my art, I would really like to create something of something like Homestuck, right? Something like Homestuck was for me where I, I found it and I was like, this is incredible. This is not like anything I've ever seen before. I'm in, I'm invested in this. I want to know where this story is going. And, you know, then on top of that, maybe I'd be interested. I'm interested in the creator, too. But it's the work, right? Like, it's the story. I want to know. I'm invested in this story. I want to tell I want to tell stories like that, 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 that get people invested in the story itself. Like... Vapors wasn't really like that. Vapors was like, uh, you know, a little slice of life, little, like, one-off stories or whatever. And there's only two of them. There's only two of those chapters that exist, which is not that many. And they're pretty, like, light. Ugh. I'm so... I'm so ashamed. <laughs> I'm so ashamed of this panel. I don't know. It, it's fine. The point is to get it done. This is not like a super important uh, uh, panel or anything. It's more important that it just gets done. Like, it can look however it wants to look. That's right. It's not even up to me. It's up to the, the whims of art or whatever. Um. Anyway, yeah, so what I'm, what I'm saying with this whole, you know, in, investment in the art versus the artist thing... All I'm saying, my only, my only point here is that I want, my goal is to create work. I mean, it's weird, right? It's a weird dichotomy because, the, I mean, the reason, when I, when I look deep inside myself, I think like the reason I want to make artwork is to be, you know, appreciated, right? On some level, like to have people see it and like know me through it, you know, like feel a, a connection or like, uh, you know, understand something, like, communicate something. I don't know, maybe I'm a little narcissistic, but yeah, I want people to, like, know me through my shit and care about me and stuff. Uh, it's important to me. But, at the same time, if people, if people care about me more than the work itself, I mean, that's no good either, right? I mean, I mean, I, I care... I care about this story that I'm telling. I care about this work that I'm doing. I want I want people to care about it too. And I'm not saying that people don't care. Ah, uh, man, I'm trying really hard not to come off like whiny or anything, or like I'm, you know, not appreciative, or or even or even like all of this that I'm saying is true necessarily. This is all just like things I think about. Like I wonder. I, I don't have any answer. I don't know. Like oh, people don't like my stuff. They just. They just want to, they just, you know, know me from TBAP or TPC or whatever. I don't even know if that's true. I just, I just ask myself these questions like, hmm, what is it? What is it that, that people think about when they think about me? Do they think about the vapors? Do they think about, I don't know, the, the shit I post on Twitter? Do they think about the TPC? Do they think about TBAP? I don't know. Um, anyway, my only point, the only conclusion there really is to draw from any of this is that my goal in life, I guess, is to make work that is so good and so interesting and so engaging to people that it becomes, that it is something that they would be invested in, you know, regardless of, of who made it, you know. It's, co it's cool that people, um, you know, are interested and know about, like, me and who I am, but the, I mean, the purpose of the work, as I see it, the purpose of the art is itself right like the real purpose of this story that i'm telling or any comic I, I make is the comic itself is that 
do I even believe that? Is that the point of art? Is the point of art just itself? Into I mean, sometimes. Not always. But maybe sometimes. Is that what art is? I don't know. You know, David Foster Wallace, the infinite jest guy, I was reading an essay by him the other day. I was very stressed out on Twitter the other day. Actually, it was a while ago. And I was like, you know, I can't concentrate. I'm too anxious. I'm going <sighs> to... This is terrible. Uh, I'm I'm too anxious. I gotta. I'm gonna read something. I, and I don't read very much, but I went and I read um, a supposedly fun thing I'll never do again, which is an essay by David Foster Wallace, in which he goes, he gets paid to go on like a cruise ship for I don't know a week or something, and like write about the experience. And. There's, I could say a lot about that essay, I guess, but the only thing I want to mention from it here is that at one point he talks about a previous guy who'd been paid to go on a cruise by the cruise line and to write like an article or, or an essay. This was like a somewhat famous writer or something, like a somewhat renowned writer dude that they had paid to do this. Uh, he had been paid to write an essay about the the cruise, but really it was just like a puff piece. It was like, ah, this cruise line, you know, the the majesty, you know, it, it's, you know, the, the tranquility, of whatever, you know, he, he just fucking blew smoke up the ass of this um, stupid cruise company. And he, David Foster Wallace, in the essay, right, he says about that other essay, that this older, you know, at the time more famous writer guy had written about, he said that it was not art because it had no, 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 he said it was an ad, not art. And the thing that makes an ad not art is that an advertisement serves the purposes of its creator, not of the audience. And that as and that it has no status as gift to the audience, and that really intrigued me. I thought a, a gift art has to be a gift to the audience because, like I've said before, that um, I don't know where I read this. I think it might have been in Understanding Comics by Scott McCloud or something. That art is like any any communication of like feeling. Like, when a caveman, like, kills a tiger, and then he, like, roars in triumph, like, that's art. Because, like, it doesn't explicitly serve any survival purpose. It's, like, a performance, and it just, it, it does nothing but communicate. And that's fine. Um, I think that's a fair definition, probably. But this idea that art must be a gift is very interesting. And I might even agree with it. Uh, yeah, how about, how about that shit, huh? Um, so, like, I don't know. I do art because I want, I don't know, attention or something? <laughs> or I want to make a connection, and I want people to know me, and I want to be... Uh, loved or whatever, <laughs> or, or admired. You know, I want people to see my work and like it. I want to say, wow, like, this is cool. This guy did a good job. Nobody else could have done this. That's. I think that's what I like about art, you know, because you, you may know that I, I used to be a scientist and I, I quit that. It was dumb because the, all the work I ever did in science was like, I felt like the work could have been done by anyone, you know? Like, anyone could have run this test, put together this fucking sheet a spreadsheet or whatever it compiled this data crunched these numbers and i mean there is creativity in the sciences for sure but like i wasn't feeling any of it i felt like any i felt like a cog uh, i felt like anyone could have done what i was doing whereas you know art i mean supposedly i mean someone could probably argue against this but i think on some level art at least feels like the artist is indisposable. Like if I'm making art, I'm I'm indisposable. No one no one can make art for me. It has to be me, or or it's not my art, or it's something different. And I guess that really serves my narcissism in some primal way. 
and that's cool. Um, yeah, so I do it for for love and attention and stuff. I do it for you know I I do it to be successful and get money, kinda not really, like. I I really only want money so that I can continue to do art. That I'm not even exaggerating. Uh <laughs> there's like I would be if I didn't need anything I would be totally happy making zero money. If I didn't need to eat, I wouldn't even ask for money. I would I would just be like whatever. I'm going to live in a hole and do art all day and I and I don't care. I don't need anything else. I really don't. I really need like nothing to live. Like I have the lowest I'm the lowest maintenance person alive or imaginable. Um, yeah, but but that's only that would only be if I knew I had an audience. Like if I knew people were, if I knew people were reading my stuff and I didn't have any bills to pay, then I would be like, well, whatever. I don't need any money. Um, but like I do art, kind of for the purpose of you know making money so that I can live and being successful. But um, Part of the reason why I need, why, like, you know, I'm so, you know, the, the, the patreon.com slash Ben Saint, you know, meme, you know, that's kind of my shtick in the, in the TPC or whatever, which is fine. Uh, it doesn't, I'm totally cool with that. But, like, the reason why, I mean, the reason it became a meme is because I was kind of pushing it so hard, like, I would say it every, every episode. I would come in and be like, oh, patreon.com slash Ben Saint, because I was, you know, trying to use, yeah, maybe it was maybe it was kind of cavalier of me. Maybe it was a little, maybe it was a little self-serving. Maybe it came off wrong. I don't know. I wasn't trying to be a jerk or anything. I I don't think anyone is mad. I don't think anyone thought I was <laughs> being rude or whatever. Um, but I mean, I I need I did that because I mean, one, I need the money to live. I don't know. Patron pledges are like <sighs> when someone compliments me. When someone says, Ben, I like you, <laughs> I like what you do, I like your work, um, it's, it's bad, but, like, I don't believe them. <laughs> like, I, I feel like, you know, there's, there's any number of ulterior motives that they might have <laughs> to say that. So, money, on the other hand, is inarguable. I, there's, I can't, <laughs> I can't, I can't look at, like, if someone gives me money, I can't be like, oh, well, you didn't really give me this money. <laughs> it's, I don't know, you know? Like, talk is cheap. Talk is... Ch God, I sound like such a dick. It's like, sound like such a mercenary, like, you know, hardened, businessy guy. But it's true, you know? Like, like talk is cheap. Money is, is expensive. <laughs> is that how the saying goes? Yeah, so, like, if so... All this is to say that, like, you know my patreon just just serves me as like like i can't i can't look at my patreon pledges and be like oh well they don't really like me like no like that's that's about as concrete as it gets like no people really do uh you know care about my shit and want me to keep making it um which you know serves my my fucking ego as we've established i need <laughs> i need to feel like people care about me and, and want to see what i'm doing it's very important um yeah, and, you know, I hope that in the future I can get some more fans and stuff from, you know, who find my stuff more organically, right? Like, who who just stumble upon it uh, totally by accident instead of, you know, as opposed to, like, finding me through the TPC. Not that there's anything wrong if you if you found me through the TPC or through TBAP or anything. That's all cool and fine. Uh... You know, I, I would really like, God, I would really like, um, I would really like to see my work discussed, you know? I would really like to see, like, threads about it on 4chan and stuff. That, boy, that would be a hoot. That would be really satisfying. Um, yeah. I, I guess I, I really like to see, like, a, oh man, what if, like, a Ben Saint fucking fandom emerge what if like a vapors fandom or the champion fandom emerge i mean that's i'm i won't mince word that's what i really want that's that's my deepest darkest desire 
is to be another Andrew Hussey and have people and have all these fucking people be like, oh, what the fuck's he going to do next? Like, where, where is this going, you know? People be invested in in the stories I'm telling. People be like, "What? Where? Where is this going? What's going to happen? What? What is going on here?" Ah, that'd be the life, man. To like, I don't know. Have people be like, "What?" Have just yeah. To have my work be discussed. I think that's like the. Yeah, I guess that's the dream. I guess I guess we've I guess I've learned a lot about myself here today, talking to you, on YouTube. I've learned a little bit about what I really want in life. I want 4chan threads. I want to go on I want to go on on slash co and look at the front page and I want to see Vincent <laughs> ripping fat vapes, <laughs> blowing fat clouds and everyone be like, "Look at this asshole." <laughs> I want to go and see I want to go on co and see Sophia here. That that's this girl by the way, who I Killed her lair. Oh, I killed her lair so I could draw this stupid wood paneling, which isn't even important. What the, what am I thinking? <laughs> Why did I do this? Uh, yeah, I want to see her and everyone be like, oh man, what a s <laughs> strong female character. I mean, she is that, uh, hopefully. Uh, strong in the sense that, like, she'll be well written and, like, a fully realized human, and not this in the sense that, like, she kills people. Although she does. Um, <laughs> spoiler. Why am I doing, why am I doing these wood panels? This is the dumbest, this is the dumbest thing I've ever done. This, this fucking cart, this cart's not even important. I mean, I guess it's a little, Im I guess it, oh God, this looks so terrible. It's going to be, I'm, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to think long and hard after this recording is done about whether I'm going to go in and just erase all this crap that I did while talking to you or no, I won't erase it. Uh, I'll do what I said before. I'll just lower the opacity and use it as a sketch layer and draw a better layer over it. And I'll just draw it like 16 times over. And... This perspective is way off. This side is like, Ooh, yeah. Mm. This side is tilted too far up. Wait, is it? Shit. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's so hard. I'm not great at perspective. But I am great at, uh, I don't know, drawing metal. Man, I was so proud of that mirror I drew today. I mentioned it before. Holy shit, that's going to be like the title page. It says right at the bottom, it's got this big fucking fancy mirror, it looks amazing. And then I had to cover all this like beautiful, like detailed mirror metal molding along the bottom. I had to cover it up with a big stupid The Champion Chapter 1. Ah, oh, what a fucking tragedy. Nah, but it still looks awesome. I might share that as like a Patreon only uh, 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 preview or something. I did share, I did share one preview. Um, on Twitter. I shared it on Twitter and then I shared it on Patreon and I thought, shit. <laughs> I mean, supposedly my Patreon feed is supposed to be for like, you know, you're supposed to get like exclusive previews and stuff and like, shit, I, f I put it on Twitter first. I hope, I hope nobody feels gypped. Ah, shit, that was a racial slur. <sighs> darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Oh. Oh yeah, on the subject of Twitter, and the TPC. Uh, so the other day I drew after the after the school sucks podcast went up. I did like I did like a little illustration of it. Like I drew one of the scenes of of the TPC Institute that Devu had described, where you know it's Jesse teaching social studies and just being like, yeah, and people need to stop being faggots, and everyone's like, oh shit, I'm learning. Um, uh, I won't spoil it. Um, yeah, I I went and drew that, and it was like became by far my most popular tweet ever, I think. I think it was my most liked tweet ever. I think my previous record for the most likes on a tweet... Oh, God, why am I wasting my time on this stupid card? Holy shit. Um, I'm done with this fucking wood. This wood can suck a dick. Um, yeah, my most liked tweet was, weirdly enough, from, like, before I even really started posting on Twitter at all, it was... Uh, 
a piece of fan art I did for the indie game Lisa, which is awesome, by the way. It's like, it was, it was like poised to be my game of the year last year. Like I loved it so much. And then Undertale came out and I was like, oh shit, <laughs> damn it. Why these have to come out the same year? Why these have to come out in such close proximity to each other? Why couldn't I have like had some time to, you know, have Lisa be my like favorite game ever before Undertale had to come and, you know, fuck it all up for everyone. Uh, but that's water under the bridge now. Uh, anyway, I did this fucking awesome uh, Lisa uh, fan art, and I tweeted it at the guy who made the game, Austin Jorgensen, who was a fucking badass, by the way. In addition to making like the the fucking premier indie RPG of 2014 or whatever, he's also a competitive martial artist wushu swords master. I'm not fucking kidding you. <laughs> Google Austin Jorgensen. Uh, kung fu or whatever performance and you'll see this fucking indie game developer on stage twirling a sword and doing backflips fucking awesome um and you know the game is also the game is about a uh <laughs> a like washed up former martial arts instructor this like old sad bald man oh it's so good holy shit i love lisa so much uh anyway yeah that was my most liked tweet i think it had like 50 or 60 likes uh, and I got, came close, like I tweeted a, 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 like I said before, I tweeted a champion preview the other day, it was a picture of Sophia's room, uh, which I worked very hard on, I was very proud of, I tweeted that, and that got like, I think that hit 60 likes, uh, which was like, that might have, it might have actually been my most liked for like the day it was the latest one up, and then yesterday, I tweeted this picture of the, the Procrastinators Academy, um, and that f- became my most liked. It got like a hundred likes in like a day. It's crazy. So, I mean, in light of this, I think I have no choice basically but to keep illustrating, keep doing those. Like, I'm hoping maybe in future podcasts there will be other like you know hilarious moments that I can kind of illustrate like that because it was fun, right? It was fun to draw. I did it in like I don't know. It's like a six or it's like a six page mini comic or something. I did it in like less than an hour, like 45 minutes. It came out great. Um, so I'm just going to, this guy, there's going to be a guy's face right here. He's going to be in front of that bar. So I think I'm just going to leave that bar on, on, undrawn for right now. <sighs> the fuck does this guy look like? Yeah. He's wearing a visor or something. Anyway. Yeah. So I'll probably try to, draw more of those like that looks okay yeah he's mario no uh yeah it's a good comic by the way i i i like it a lot it got a lot of uh the other the other tpcers all appreciated it too they all retweeted it and whatever uh man fucking art so I, yeah, so I submitted that pitch to Hiveworks, the comics collected. I'm still waiting on that. I'll probably be waiting. I'll probably be waiting until about July 15th to hear if I get into fucking Hiveworks. And by the way, this is all of no, this is a very little practical interest uh, to anyone other than me. Like, if you're someone who likes my comics and you want to know, like, oh, what's going to happen with Ben Saints comics? It, it doesn't fucking matter if I get into Hiveworks or not. Except that it's going to affect my update schedule. Because they insist on, like, a regular update schedule. Oh, this looks fucking stupid. Um, but other than that, other than a, a, the update schedule, like, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's I'm still going to make the same shit, and I'm still going to post it on my site. Uh, same, as, same as ever. So, like, NBD... The only difference of whether I get into Hiveworks or not is, like, I guess they'll promote me some, and, like, they'll pay for my hosting costs, and, you know, if I do a Kickstarter or a Twitter or whatever, which, you know, eventually I will. Why did I say Twitter? If I do a Kickstarter or something to, like, get it printed, they'll help me promote for that shit. So, like, it's, it's, it's that stuff. It's nothing NBD for readers, even although it's kind of, might it might be a big D for me, I don't know. A big D. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe I, I mean, I probably won't get in. Competition is stiff. They got like a thousand entrants this year. Like, holy shit, right? So, I don't know. My, like, gut feeling is they'll probably take, like, maybe 10, 
20 tops, probably not that, probably like 10. And, um, maybe not even that many. So yeah, I would have to be in like the top 1%. Which I mean, you know, who knows, right? I mean, it's totally, it's totally up to like taste, you know, like someone, the judge might read it and like maybe the vapors is like exactly to their taste and be like, oh shit, we got to get this guy. Or maybe it will just be the exact opposite. And, uh, you know, who knows? It's, it's kind of up to chance. Although what isn't up to chance and what isn't a matter of taste is that, you know, I kind of have a pretty good amount of uh, Twitter followers and I have like a pretty good, I mean, my Patreon numbers, my, my pledges per month, it's like almost 200 right now, which is like, I mean, that's for a web comic. That's huge. So like, I don't know. Is that going to help me get, with it? Will that like tip the scales in my favor? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know what, I don't know what their judging uh, thing is, but like, uh, uh, if I get in, if I get in, I feel like I'll have my patrons to thank for it. I mean, not entirely, but like at least a little, right? At I mean, at least a little, like they're, they're gonna, they're gonna at least look at my Patreon before they, if they're considering me at all. Like maybe they'll pro maybe they'll see my stuff and be like, hmm, okay, this guy is at least kind of good. Man, this guy looks so evil. Um, yeah, that's better. Uh, they'll see my stuff and be like, oh man, it's kind of good, but let's look into him more. And I mean, they'll definitely check my Twitter and my Patreon. They'll see that like I got all this fucking fan support. And I mean, I don't think that's gonna convince them. Like it won't make them take me if my work isn't good. But like if my work is good. And they see that. I mean, that that can't hurt, right? That's gotta be that's gotta be a a buff, a, a boost to my chances, I think. So, um, yeah, I feel kind of good about that. Not 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 like I think I'm gonna get in. I think I've got a shot. I think it could happen. I'm not counting on it or anything, because like I said, there were like a thousand submissions, or there were like eight hundred something, and like. You know, who knows? They might, there might be like some older, like industry established people that like kind of submitted on the down low, you know, and they're sort of ringers. Uh, that's, that's kind of likely. Uh, you know, hmm. Uh, I don't really love her posture. I don't like her neck. Uh, you know. I actually think this turned out way better, uh, than I, mm. I don't, I don't, I want, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to lengthen. Yeah. Okay. I want her to be like handing the money here. I do not want, I want the money and the coffee to be adjacent to each other. I want, but right here, the way she is now, she's exactly in front of that end of the, of the cart, which is unacceptable. Like you need to be able to see the end of the cart or it's going to be like the cart vanishes behind her, which is like, would lo just look bizarre. Um, so I'm just going to extend the cart, which is fine. I think that looks, that looks just, just dandy. I'm just going to extend this cart here like that. Yes. Yes. It's all coming together. <clears throat> I'm a genius. Uh, I... Tell me, tell me in the comments. Um, I mean, if you, <laughs> if you like this video at all, uh, you know, fair enough. But, but please tell me what aspect of it uh, you think is good. Do you like me talking about, like, my life and shit? Do you like me waxing, like, pseudo-philosophical about, like, you know, what is art? You know, with David Foster Wallace status as gift bullshit? Do you like watching my drawing techniques? Or, or how do you feel about me, like, sort of going into, like, explaining my process and being like, ooh, I gotta move the, I gotta move the end of the cart because I don't want it to be tangent and shit. I want it to be like, uh, you know, is that interesting? I mean, it's interesting for me, but I'm like, I'm here in the trenches, you know, <laughs> it's me doing it. 
think I might extend it a little bit more. Uh, or maybe not. Uh, it looks okay. <sighs> Man, what have I been talking for like, I don't know, a while. <laughs> oh, this looks, oh shit. Look at that angle. Like I said, the, the perspective on this thing is fucking off. It's terrible. <sighs> Alright, well, that was a productive, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes? I have no long idea how long it's been. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for this first fuck. See you in the next fuck.